So one of the new features of the iPhone 10 is the ability to use more modes in portrait photography. This is the same by the way for the iPhone 8 Plus. It has the same mode. So let's take a look at it. We're in the camera app now and I'm going to go to portrait and you can see at the bottom here where it says natural light I've got uh, several other options off to one side. Natural light is the same as let's say the iPhone 7 Plus uh, where it could use the dual cameras to take an image, uh, one image of the close object, the subject, and another image of what's behind and kind of fade that out and you can kind of see that effect there. Look at photo and see how everything is sharp and then portrait with natural light selected and that's the, that's the standard mode that we've known for a while. So now we have these different options here. The uh, iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 can do this with the main cameras, the rear cameras that you would use to take photos of other people. But the iPhone 10 can actually do this also with the front facing cameras which is what I'm using right now. So we've got natural light and I just tap and they kind of move and it turns into this wheel here. And I can switch to the next one which is studio light. And you've got studio light and contour light and they're both going to change how my face is lit up. So notice like particularly the sides of my face. So that's kind of a nice effect. And then here is stage light. And stage light I want to put myself in the middle of the circle. And there's stage light normal and then stage light mono which is going to make it black and white. But if I take a picture here make sure I put my face in the circle then if I look at the picture you can see that it basically blacks out the rest of the image. So it's kind of like taking just a picture of yourself uh, on a black background no matter where you are, no matter what's going on behind you. So that's kind of nice. Now here's one of the coolest things about this. There's two images there, right? It's the two cameras. It saves both images. So if I go into Edit, notice at the top it says Portrait. If I tap on Portrait I can turn it on or off. I've got these controls here at the bottom and I can switch which one it is. So it saved, that, it saved the uh, images there. So now after the fact, after I'm long gone from the scene, I can go and change which mode I'm using. So that's really nice. You don't have to decide right there. You can actually just take a portrait mode natural light every time and then worry about switching later on to whatever mode that you want. So that's a look at the new portrait mode feature of the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10. Uh, it definitely is a really great tool in the toolbox for uh, taking photos. Uh, the iPhone 10 is a clear winner here because you can use it in the selfie front camera mode uh, which I imagine is a, a really good use for this.